Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail for a video. I'm using Photoshop CS4. So first, I am putting in some thought bubbles. I'm going to go to shapes, look at the shape I already made. Color, I'm going to make it white like the other. I'm going to insert another of those. I'm going to click and drag that so it will flip which way it's facing so that it looks like the tail of the thought bubble is coming from Peyton. Then I'm going to add another shape. Same thing, same thought bubble. This time I'm going to, in addition to flipping it so that the tail is coming from that side, I'm also going to flip it upside down so that it's coming more from her mouth. Now that I have those, I'm going to take any other pictures that I want, copy them. If they aren't transparent and I want them to be, I will make them transparent, copy it, and then I can put it into the little thought bubbles. So I'm just going to continue that, so I'm going to go to my web browser, find a picture that I want, since one of the things in this is talking about eyeliner. I'm going to go to Google, type in eyeliner, I'm going to copy the image, go back into Photoshop, I'm going to open a new Photoshop page so that I can paste, select any parts of that that I will want. So I'm going to control cut, which is X for the shortcut, control paste V, go back up here to the move tool, I'm going to make that a little smaller, and put that in one of the speech bubbles. If you need, you can adjust the size of your speech bubbles. So I'm going to select the one that I'm putting it in, make it a little bit bigger, but move it so that it's still on the screen, and then adjust the other speech bubbles so that they are on screen as well. And now you can see I have the eyeliner and the other picture. So I'm basically going to repeat that and then I will repeat the process with all the other speech bubbles. And then if you want to add some text, so you just go to text, make a little text box for, box for yourself, and then you can just go to your keyboard and type whatever you want to type and then you are done. Following there you will just save it and put it under a folder. I usually name my YouTube thumbnails because that's where all of them go. Then if you have custom thumbnails for your videos, you just go to your video manager. You're going to go to your channel, click up here the video manager. Then you're going to click on what video you want. I will just click on this video since it's the first one. Then you click the edit button. Info and settings, it looks like a little pencil. You change image since there, if you had not already set a thumbnail, that were, there would be a custom thumbnail image. You hit change image. Then you go to your files, wherever you saved it should pop up. Then you just click that, click open, and then save changes up here in the corner. That is all you need to do, then you are done. All right, and here is the finished product. You can go check out my friend's video. It will be in the description. It is called Struggles of Being a Girl. All right, thank you for watching. Please like the video. If you enjoyed it, comment if you want something else like it, or have a suggestion for another video. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more.